Children, today the album is brand new movie dropped on Netflix is called Kitty Chatterless Lover and this movie it is uh, based on a novel and this movie it is like literally it is like 18 plus movie when you watch it this movie has so many like naked scene on a screen you're like oh my god uh, that means that this movie is however the story itself and what was it going for uh, I thought this movie still was very interesting although you do, you do have to fast forward all the scene this movie has because the story itself it is interesting so in this movie you see Connie Shu when she marries this uh, very well off Mr. Clifford in this movie and he's uh, very like I guess very respectable uh, wealthy person uh, back then and when he goes to first war world and after he comes back from the war we see he settles down in England countryside uh, state he has there and over there we learn more about these two people although at first Connie thought he really loved him and as they she started learning more about him and especially the condition he has in this movie and he really wants to have a uh, heir to his uh, state and when he asked her to have an affair with someone and you know have the kids for his uh, next generation and when she actually had this affair in this movie we see things get complicated uh, in this movie it is starring Emma Corrin and uh, uh, Jake O'Donnell who I never seen Jake O'Donnell but I have seen Emma Corrin in the crown and many times when i was watching this movie felt like you were watching crown this although even one scene she talks to mr clifford the way she talks in the show crown i was like oh my god uh, it is very like interesting when you see this um, many ways this movie felt like you were watching crown sequel or something uh, all the story itself it's not many very different from uh, Princess Diana's life. It is different, I guess. Uh, but I'm just saying like this uh, because she was there. But in this movie, who she's really skinny. Like she's like she doesn't have any meat in her body. Uh, and in this movie, you do have to see her a lot. And Jacob O'Donnell. Oh, how do people agree to this kind of movie? I have no idea. Uh, I really, I'm really disappointed in this movie that they uh, chose to tell the story this way. Uh, you know they could have done other way because the story itself so interesting because end of the day Mr. Clifford is the one who put uh, Corinne in this movie this difficult situation when he asked her to have an affair then she has an affair then he's like oh and uh, this movie it is kind of silly like he was she was having an affair and he doesn't see it <laughs> and how this movie ends I was like what does that even mean uh, uh, of course she tried to have a uh, divorce from him but she can't because back then you know wealth is so important and mr clifford he's so wealthy in this movie this movie tried to show you sometime how it difficult it is to when you come back from the war and uh, and you feel at first you really feel for them these people who are back from from war and uh, what war has done to them and uh, this movie mr clifford the way he was acting i don't know how realistic this is this guy he's like half half of his body is gone and he's he should be more depressed in my opinion but he didn't act more depressed and then again that is the story because this story end of the day it is based on a novel and uh, i guess that i was reading some of these uh, people who read the novel and they're saying it's really true adaptation from that novel so i guess people who read the novel which is like it came out so long ago i don't know how many people read the novel i guess those people will be happy with this movie and if you never heard this story still it is very interesting story about this uh, wife you know she's uh, trying to do everything right but doesn't always works out the way she wants uh yeah a lot of uh, stuff about desire and this kind of stuff it is always interesting i just didn't like this much naked people i'm like oh my god more than i can take and uh, that is how this director i guess she wanted to and i was like is this movie's director is a lady what a lady director directed this movie and she chose to tell this way yeah you gotta give it to her for <laughs> I, I don't know where is she from i think she's from maybe europe or something because many european movie is like that not on hollywood movie but uh this is a 
still Netflix produced movie and I see not what else Netflix was going for. How is this movie has such a high rating on Rotten Tomato score? I have no idea. Although I found the story to be interesting, the execution in this movie always didn't work for me. But overall, I still thought this was very interesting movie on Corinne's life and what happened to her husband in war. And overall, it is still very interesting movie minus all this. And that's my thought on this movie. Let me know in the comment what do you think about this movie and who you about this review. Don't share about the review on other Netflix movie. Enjoy this. Please subscribe until I see you next time. Please take care.